Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchell. Like, and one of the things I'm asked a lot about is a uh, weak hand, strong hand. Especially when you put an optic on your firearm, you find that when you're swapping hands, you have trouble finding a dot again when you're coming into the target zone. We we'll talk about a little bit of thing, a little specifics that it might help you out. So, what you want to realize when you're shooting is once you stare at a target, the target has won the scenario. Anytime you stare at the target, it has won the scenario. So, what you always want to do is soft focus. If I was going to do a weekend, a strong hand weekend presentation, you know, you draw and you shoot and you swap it over to your, to your weak hand, you want to do it under your dominant eye, so you always have reference on where the firearm is pointing. You don't want to do it like it's a secret, because I have no reference at the end of that muzzle to the target. It would be the same thing if I was trying to do that swap with this piece of cardboard under my face where I can't see the handgun. Why would I want to do that? I want to see what I'm going to do. So the whole idea behind that is when I'm shooting strong hand, then I want to swap the weak hand. I want to do it right under my dominant eye so I can see where this thing is pointing the whole time. And I have more time to see the dot when it comes into the target zone. I'm not staring at the target, soft focus the whole time. And I want to see what's going on here. It's a lot more important than staring at a target than having a gun get in the way. That sounds silly, but a lot of people let the gun get in the way. The most important thing is to swap it under your vision, get it back into the, into the target zone while you see it. Don't let it be a surprise. So let's run it a couple times, just to give you an idea. We'll, sh we'll shoot a couple, which, and then swap over to the weekend. Here we go. The whole idea is to keep it under your dominant eye. When I'm doing the swap, I'm watching the muzzle. I saw it was pointing off to the right a little bit, finger out a trigger guard, bring it back in the target zone, find the dot. Or you can bring it even gets closer to your face, but the whole idea is that you want to watch it happening and not stare at the target. So let's just do it again one more time. One more time. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. So what I'm trying to do when I'm doing these drills I'm not standing at the target, I'm keeping my vision here, so when I'm doing the transfer, I'm aware of where the muzzle is, where the dot, and I start finding the screen and the dot as soon as I can to get it back into the target zone. Don't stare at the target, and don't forget, get some. <laughs>